Hello everybody and welcome back to Anadonia. I hope you've all been well. I'm joined by my lovely partner in crime, Ruby. Hello, Ruby. Hello there, Mr. Drifter. And, um, yeah, so welcome back to Anadonia. There's not much more I can say than that, really. Because there's not much more, really, that we have to do. I mean, let's take a look at this shit shack to-do list uh, oh, board out uh, here. Two sets. Uh, let's have a look over there. Oh boy! I know, we technically have automated sugar production. It's not fully there, but it's close I mean, enough that we can take this off the board. I mean, we need to make a third stack to heaven. Like, who doesn't need a third stack to heaven? The first two worked so well exactly. that we needed to make a third one. Mm. And it's on its way. It's definitely growing a lot taller than the... Uh, the other sugar cane around it. But, quite unsubtly, we only have one thing left to do on this board, and that is to make an ME computer. Or I suppose we should really change this from make an ME computer to, uh, if I just if you, you give me a second, uh, to oh God, the editing here. finish oh, oh. the ME computer. <laughs> there we go. Um, because that's... I mean, we're, we're really close to finishing, to be honest. We are. It, it feels it feels weird, everything on this board. I know. It's strange seeing like, it so blank. We're being attacked by phantoms, aren't yep, we? we are. God damn it! Damn it. They ruin everything. We've just started. Couldn't they, like, there we go. Ugh. Oh, by the way, I have a really overpowered sword now. It's called the Molten Iceborne Blood-Seeking Diamond Sword, and it's hey. mythic level. When did you get that? Was it in your, in your? I don't, I don't know what, 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 do you, what do you call it? Your, your witch tower, um, your, 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 your sickness tower. I don't actually recall where I got it. I think I got it during a time lapse for my other series, but it, I don't remember. It's been that long since we've logged on. I genuinely don't remember. But speaking of things that happened, so you did some since mining off camera. So you did some mining off camera? No, you can't call it mining off camera because I don't actually think you can get these custom weapons uh, without earning them from mob drops. Either that or I just don't know the commands. But speaking of things that we did uh, quote unquote off camera, when you last saw this waypoint behind me, it was looking a little different, don't you think? Oh no, what have you done? <laughs> so I think if you recall, the last time we sort of touched the waypoint, there was a massive sheep head up here. Oh no. Where's my jetpack? Now, pack? where is your jetpack? I, 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 where is my jetpack? I, I, I think I may have put I, it in the uh, charging station. I'm going to say, I think you might need your jetpack in order to come and uh, take a look up here at what we've replaced the sheep head with. No, I, I don't. I don't think I want to know. I put my heart, sweat, and tears into that, and you just you just mind it off camera. God. What? Well, look, we said in leave, the episode that it didn't. I can't leave you for two seconds. I can't leave you for two seconds. Oh, shut your fanny hole, all right? We said in the episode that the sheep head was kind of unsightly. So I did a little work after we logged off. I time lapsed it, by the way. People that watched the last episode would have seen me build this but i went with the original design like um do you remember how we were inspired by the statue of the seven to build these things yeah. and on top of those they were there, there was like a, a model of a chair with uh one of the archons sat in it well i replaced the sheep head with a chair and instead of you know building an archon which wouldn't make much sense i went out of my way to uh I, I brought as a little friend to come and sit on the chair, I, if you want to come up here and yeah, see. Um, just bear with me two seconds, I completely forgot how to change my mode uh, in uh, this. I'm, I'm desperately pressing all the buttons to try and... What was it again? Uh, Z? I believe it's G. It's either G or oh, N. Yep, it's G. There we go. I don't know what I've done, but apparently my per per Perkin abilities are dead. Oh, um, that's... I don't know. Ah! <laughs> Are you good, buddy? You look like you hit your head on that. No, I'm always hitting my head on stuff that I'm not supposed to. But uh, yeah, we have we have a live sheep up here. Oh. You would not believe the amount of bullshit I had to go through to get this little bastard up here. This isn't even the first one. I went through three sheep 
trying to get them up here. The other two died, and this one is on half a heart. So if you touch it, I will end this episode right now in order to go to your house and stab you. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> you have a jetpack, you'll be fine. Uh, okay. But yeah, considering how rare animal spawns are, I figure it was kind of a flex to put a sheep up there. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So what exactly has happened to Guy's remains, though? Well... Where are they? <laughs> Funny, you should ask. I don't actually remember. <laughs> um, so, a little context to our viewers at home. Uh, if I feel a little off in today's session, that's because I'm still recovering from an illness. Um, ow. Uh, can you, I'm trying to explain where Guy's remains have gone. But what came hand in hand with that illness is... Uh, I, I was just completely wiped out for like a day or two i i it it hurt to just live um and obviously because we recorded before that and then we took a break after that i honestly yeah. have no idea what i did with the remains of guy i i know i did something with them i don't remember what you have desecrated the, the sacred land of guy now you know you, i wouldn't desecrate will, it on purpose you, you will be punished i hope you realize this maybe not by me Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day, a you righteous know. hand will strike you down for your deeds today. You know I wouldn't desecrate his grave on purpose. Whatever I did with his remains, I know it would be to honour him. But, I think we've uh, spent enough time rambling about that sort of stuff. I think it's time we focus on finishing the ME computer. Okay. Now, if you'll follow me up to the computer room, I guess we're calling it now, because... I mean, it is technically still the chest room, but it's where we're building the computer. But if you follow me up into there, um, I believe, again, it's been a while, the last thing that we had to do was supply this thing with power. Because if you'll, if you'll look, we have the crafting terminal, we have the controller, and we have the drive, and that drive has five 4K storage cells in it. Okay. So what we need in order to finish the computer is we actually need to uh, generate power. We need to plug it in and we need to turn it on. Um, now, from if, if, if my memory is serving me correctly, the one way that uh, people usually generate power for this sort of thing is with a windmill. Um, now, thankfully, there are mechanism windmills in this mod pack... But mm -hmm. I haven't built one in a long time, so I don't actually know how efficient they are. Ooh, okay, I mean, we'll have to try and find one of those oh, windmills, won't we? Well, they, they, they require three osmium and an infused alloy, which is iron ingots and a, some redstone in a... Uh, uh, metallurgic infuser, which we have downstairs, but it also requires a basic control circuit, which is again osmium and some redstone in a metallurgic infuser, and on top of that, it requires two energy tablets per windmill. And an energy tablet is two more infused alloy, uh, three gold, and four redstone. So I think the first thing we need to focus on making is the infused alloy. And we need to just make a oh, ton of this stuff. Like this? Yes, actually. Where the fuck did you get that? I was, I was, I was making turny things over there, right? Remember? Uh, yeah, the, 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 the um... Oh, uh, shit, what's it called? The, the water wheel. Yeah, the right? water wheel! <laughs> yeah, the water wheel! Water wheel! The water wheel! Water wheel! Water wheel! <laughs> well, there we go. We why just... did you... We we just what? we we just broke like half of the steps. Okay, t tell me which which <laughs> steps next, Pappy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why you had to make these for the water wheel, but um, the yeah. next step would be turning these into energy tablets, which means we need gold and redstone. Uh, now I have neither of those. I'm that used to having redstone in my oh, backpack. Like I thought I had. Oh, okay. I, 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 it really does start feeling like I've done some mining off camera. <laughs> I haven't even got one in the 
<laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so we've got gold, and we now have the infused alloy. Um, <laughs> do you have redstone? I mean, I could have a look for you. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Let's check the redstone. That, that would make things a lot quicker if you just had redstone. I mean, you. maybe. I don't know if I've done that much mining off camera. <laughs> <laughs> You genuinely caught me off guard with that. I wasn't expecting <laughs> you to have any of that. It's the one time I'm useful in this series. Uh, we have a single piece of redstone down here, which means we can EMC some. No. So I'm going to no. drop it in the uh, condenser that we have down here and use up... A... For oh, some reason, we have just a ton of indigo corundum down here, so I'm going to use that up to turn it into redstone. Oh, yeah, we don't talk about that. Uh, but yeah, so now, if you come down here and give me one more infused alloy, I can make us a single energy tablet. <laughs> there we go! No, this, is, this doesn't feel right! And we, you we've, want... been, we've been so disconjointed, discombobbled for this whole series, even with the, the, the cogs, the everything, we've been so disjointed that this one semblance of structures made me really confused i know this is <laughs> this is genuinely like throw me through a loop like, we're not usually this organized i expected yes, I us to come in here and spend two hours trying to fucking figure out how to make this and yeah. we, we we haven't even been doing this for like 15 Wait, minutes yeah i know and like... we're already here and do you want to know the best part well... i didn't even know this but I didn't give any of the mechanism stuff EMC, but I've just crafted this energy tablet, and it has an EMC value. No! Which no, means no. I can just come over to this chest oh. and put it up here <laughs> and just have it make me another one. I just have to wait, and it will just make me another one. You know, it does feel illegal, this. You know, like, it feels like all the natural laws of, like, this universe is kind of just breaking down for this one rip windmill, you know? I know. Right, okay. Okay, this might be our first obstacle because I don't see any in any of these chests and I don't have any in my backpack. Ooh. Do we have any osmium? Uh, give me a second here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we don't have osmium. I don't even right. know what osmium is, but I feel like I had to... We have had osmium in the past. Uh, apparently, we might have used it all up, though, because there's none in any of these chests. There's none in any of the grindstones, and there's none in my backpack. So, that means our next goal is to get some osmium, because we need osmium in order to not only craft the main part of the windmill, which is apparently called a wind generator now, I guess they renamed it at some point, but okay. we also need it to make the basic control circuits. So... Let's go have a look for some osmium. Uh, I'm going to go look through all of the chests in the shit shack. If you have a look in the chests upstairs in the chest room, yeah. um, we can work our way through that. And if we find nothing in either of those, we can hop down into the mine. Okay, so that's osmium or osmium... I am... It's triggering something in my brain right now with the osmium. The look mm. of it. The smell of it. I, I think... I think I might actually use some of it for, like, the jetpack, not gonna lie. The jetpack did require osmium. And guess what? What? We have seven in this chest. Damn it, I knew that there's a reason why I saved things. No! <laughs> this whole episode We have feels... seven osmium in this chest. Oh my god, we really did just mine off camera for this episode. <laughs> things are lining up so perfectly it's they... genuinely frightening it is it's it's frightening do you want me to go i don't know like build another creeper trap to like you know like pad out the episode like uh, do you want me to quickly uh ring ring up dr phil see how he's doing <laughs> i mean i i i guess i guess i mean the one th there's one thing you could do actually yes because we took it off the board but we didn't technically complete it and that's automating the sugar production We've automated sugarcane mining, but we don't have automated sugarcane product like sugar production. Yeah. So what you could do is you could spend this time. If you type in at create right into NEI, there's these things called, if I can find them, uh, portable storage interfaces. Mm -hmm. What you can do is attach one to your rotating farm, right? Like attach one to the rotating hand and then put one in the physical world. 
not part of the contraption. What these do is when they line up, it will empty the chests of the contraption into the portable storage interface and then funnel that into a chest without you having to dismantle the contraption to open the chest itself. Because as you know, in order to open a chest on a moving contraption, you have to turn it back into blocks, right? What you could do is attach those to uh, like the, the portable storage interfaces, have it go into a chest, have that chest drop onto a conveyor belt, which then moves the things into one of the auto crafters that we have down here, or you can just make another one because we have the ability to, and then have the auto crafter manually turn the sugar cane into sugar. 